We're going to calibrate a new A-series pressure switch. This is a 100-pound range A-series switch, and it is a field-adjustable version. The factory set versions are not able to be adjusted in the field. So the first thing we're going to do is expose the adjustment cover. It slides down on the switch, and you can look inside at the detail of the adjustment mechanisms. Now we've already connected the wires up. This is a wired switch, so the normally open connection is a blue wire, the normally closed connection is a red wire, the common connection is a white wire, and this switch has a ground wire, the green wire, which is not used during calibration. The first step of calibration is to exercise the switch to make sure it is operating correctly. To exercise a switch, start from zero PSI and increase to full range of the switch in this case 100 PSI, and then return back to zero. This should be done three times. We're going to set at 80 PSI increasing, so what we will do is take the pressure up to 80 PSI, hold it, and then adjust the switch so that it operates there. This switch turns on before 80, so we are going to increase its set point until it turns off, and then we will turn it back on again at 80. So we are going to increase the set point by putting a small tool into the slot and turning it clockwise to increase the set point. We will continue to do this until the switch resets, which it just did. Now, we will turn it back counterclockwise, and that will set the switch to turn on at 80. We will go slowly until it just turns on. It just turned on. Now we have to measure the set point to see if we are exactly where we want it to be at 80. So we would drop the pressure back to zero. And then increase it up to just before 80 and walk it up slowly and measure the exact set point. Perfect. And we will take it down slowly to the reset point. Approximately four PSI. Now we will lower it back down again and check to see that we have set it correctly. Bring it up slowly to measure. And we are now set at approximately 80. We will then bring the set point back or lower the pressure to find the reset point, which is approximately 4 psi. It is normal to repeat set point measurements three times to verify repeatability. Once again, starting from zero, bring it all the way up to full range, 100 PSI, and we're going to set it at 20 PSI decreasing. So we will take it all the way up to 100, and then bring it down and set it exactly on 20. Now we will go back in and adjust 
We are going to turn counterclockwise to lower the set point. So we'll put our tool in and make the adjustment. Counterclockwise until the switch turns on. And the switch turned on. Now we will go back clockwise until the switch turns off. Now we have approximately set the switch, so we'll have to test it and see exactly where we've set it. We'll drop it to zero. Take it all the way up to 100. Reduce the pressure to just before the desired set point. Walk it down, and we should be able to see where it resets. And we are a little bit low. We're at 18 and a half, so what we're going to do is drop it to zero and make another adjustment. As we did before, but we will take it to 100 and then back down to 20, and then adjust. And that should bring the set point closer. So at 20, we're gonna make an adjustment until the switch Turns off. Now we'll take it back to zero and check the set point. Starting at 100 to just above the set point. Now we're set right on 20. Now we will increase the pressure until it changes back to green, and that gives us a dead band of approximately three. We will then take it back to zero and repeat the process to make sure that we have a consistent set point. For set points on vacuum range switches, it is best to think of the set point as a negative pressure. So an increasing vacuum set point is a decreasing pressure set point and a decreasing vacuum set point is an increasing pressure set point.